Hello, this video is going to show how I made this Easter card. This card is a floral cross on a gold framed background with a flower embellishment. It's simple and elegant and the inside is also very simple. This card is for Easter. I Please forgive me, I went swimming today so my skin's rather dry and I just noticed it looking in the uh, camera. Oops. Let me go over the materials that this card uses today. I have a card base cut five, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. I have gold shimmer paper. This is more than, than I needed for this card, but you need at least three and a half by five inches. I have a blue mat, which is four inches by five and a quarter. And I have two pieces of watercolor paper. The watercolor paper that I use for this technique I'm going to be doing today is Strathmore Bristol smooth paper. This is the best paper for the technique that I'm using but you can try to use whatever watercolor paper you have and see how it turns out. This panel is uh, three and a half by four and a quarter and this is about one inch by two and two and three quarters. This is more than I need also. I'm going to trim that down. The inks I'm using is VersaFine Onyx Black I'll be using the Danube Blue Memento, the Distress Ink, Antique Linen, and I will also be using a Ranger Blending Tool for the Distress Ink. To do the watercoloring uh, colors, I'm using the Zig Clean Color Real Brush Markers. And I have a set of 60, but you can use watercolor pencils or um, Distress Crayons or any kind of watercolor ink that you have. But that is what I used. And I have a lot of colors here, but that's only because I wanted to get uh, shading, but you could have used fewer colors or more colors. I will have listed all the colors that I use in the video description down below. For the, this one, I had used the Stampin' Up! Baked Brown Sugar, but I thought I would try this card in black instead of the Baked Brown Sugar. So keep in mind that this is not going to be the, exactly the way I'm going to do it. The stamp set I used today is <clears throat> 2 by Inka Dinka Do. Uh, it's called Spiritual Sketches and Good News. I'm also using uh, die cuts. I got this is a no name brand that I got from Amazon and this is called labels which is very similar to a, a Stampin' Up! and Spellbinders labels die cut. So if you had a similar shape die cut that would be just fine. You don't have to get this one. I'm also using some gold flowers for uh, embellishment and I will need to do some embossing so I'm using my clear embossing powder which means of course I will be using my embossing tool I need glue dots to stick the flowers and foam tape so that's about it so let me clear out all of this stuff it looks like a lot but it really goes together very very quick so let me clear away all these things and then we'll get in get started with the card okay I've cleared away some of those things so the first thing I'm doing is bringing in my misty tool I'm using my MISTI tool so that if I don't get a good impression the first time, I can just stamp it right again and it'll stamp in the same place. That's a very good uh, helper thing for when you're working on watercolor paper. This particular watercolor paper is smooth, so I probably won't have that much of a problem, but some of the watercolor paper has a lot of texture on it. Okay, as I mentioned, I'm going to do this in black and not in the brown one. So I have my VersaFine and I've already put the stamps onto the MISTI tool where I need them to be. So I'm going to ink this up. Oh, I forgot. Because I'm going to be doing the clear embossing over the uh, VersaFine, I need to have the embossing powder ready to go because I have to take advantage of the fact that this ink stays wet a little bit longer and that'll allow me to put the embossing powder on it. 
Okay. Okay. Now while it's still wet, you just drop it into the embossing powder a couple of times. Knock off the extra. Okay. That looks good. Set that aside for a moment and now I'm going to do the other one. But I don't want to get this all messy so I'll clean this up a little bit real quick. So I've trimmed this piece to uh, one inch by two and three quarters. And where's my thing? I don't have to run this over this as well because I'm embossing over with clear. So if I have a little bit of extra powder here or there, it won't show up. Whereas if you were doing a colored embossing powder, you really want to be sure that you use the embossing tool. Okay, and right into the clear powder. Okay, I'm going to take a second and go off camera and emboss these two pieces. Be right back. Okay, now I have embossed them both. I have, I don't think I mentioned it, but I always emboss off camera because I am unable to uh, change the um, zoom on the camera and if I were to do the embossing on camera you wouldn't be able to see any difference in it so I'm not showing that so that I can make the video a little bit smaller someone had asked me about that okay now let me clear these things away I don't need this anymore Now I'm going to go right into the watercoloring bit. I'm going to speed up through this because it's no reason to make the video slower when it doesn't have to be. So basically I'm going to lay on just a little bit of the color. I'll illustrate with this one. Like so. And then take my water pen and spread it out to the ends. And the color moves very, very quickly and very easily on this particular paper with these markers. So now that I have the yellow, I'm going to just lightly touch the center with the red and blend that out and give a little bit of deep shadow in the center of the flower. And there's my brother sending text while I'm doing my videos. <clears throat> A little bit more yellow, I think. Okay, and I'm going to speed the rest up so you won't have to watch this slow process. You also need a piece of paper so that you could clear your brush between colors. Okay, that's the coloring and I do in fact like this version better than that version. I was trying to avoid too much black on the front but this looks a little bit washed out to me so I'm definitely glad that I switched to the black. Now I just need to uh, take and get my die cut. Okay, the reason I have three die cuts is because this gold glimmer paper, I don't like wasting it. And as you see, this will be a big piece 
covered by the gold. So what I did was I took and laid the large piece, which is what I need for the die cut. And then I took the smaller of this, this label and I cut out the center. So I end up with just a frame, which will be covered by this die cut piece, as you can see here. It'll be completely covered. And that way I can use this little piece here for something else. Try to save the paper when we can. Okay, so the largest label goes on this one. The next one goes on this one. And while I'm cutting out the larger, I'm gonna cut out the smaller of this. So I'm gonna take all of this over to my Big Shot machine and cut it out. Okay, back with all the little pieces. So this is trash now. This is my die cut. And here's my gold frame with the inside, save for later. And as you see, the hole is completely covered. No problem. Okay, let me clear this stuff up and move to the next step. Now I want to do something with the edges of this paper. So I'm bringing in some scrap paper to protect my mat and I'm going to distress the edges around both this and this. And again, I will speed this part up so you don't have to watch it. Okay. Clear this out of the way. Now I'm going to adhere this to this and then it will this will go in the lower corner and the card is almost ready. But before I do that, because this is a really expensive paper, I don't want to make a mistake. I'm going to do the inside of the card next. So I have the sun that says rejoice already on my stamp block and I'll just stamp it careful I hope right direction there and straight Now I just have the word Easter, so I'm going to stamp that in the blue. Okay, I'm taking back the yellow and the red, and I'm going to give a little bit of color to the sun here. But because this is not watercolor paper, I'm going to do this with my uh, blender tool. Because the color wouldn't move very well. Um, I need to take a break and get some more water. Be right back. Okay, you just fill this barrel with water and good to go. Okay, because this is not watercolor paper, once I put the color down, it doesn't want to flow and move very well. So I'm going to start it off on the, this uh, color block and just put it the color where I need it to be. And bring a little bit of the red to highlight the center. And there, simple as that. I need a second for this to dry. And because I didn't do too much, it doesn't go through the back of the paper. That was also a concern. Okay, now moving on. Take my bone folder, press a good seam in, and upside right. I'm going to adhere the mat to the card front. Uh-oh, I'm running out of tape. And 
now to tape these two together. And now this to that. I need a little bit more tape to make it stay down. I would usually put a little bit more tape than this, but I'm running out and I don't want to run out before I finish the video. So I'm being a little skinny with the tape, but you should put more tape down than I have done. So this I want it adhered toward the top to allow room for the sentiment, which I'm going to put on foam tape. And my big roll is getting smaller and smaller. I'm going to have to order another one soon. This might be too wide, so I'm going to cut that in half. Save that for later. The nails, the nails. Okay. And this flush with the bottom, even with the mat. Trying not to have it too far in front of the panel. This one was a lot wider. I trimmed this one a lot smaller just to make sure that I didn't run into a problem. So now I need just the flowers and the glue dots. Three ought to do it. And three then. I just take the glue dot and put it on the roll and then take it off and put it in place. If you wanted to, you could of course add a little leaf of green in there, but I tried that at first and I didn't like how it looked, so I left that off. Okay, so that's the finished card. It was very simple. I think it's very pretty. And um, it, I didn't put any sparkle because the gold frame is so sparkly all by itself. So I usually would have gone to my sparkle pen and went crazy. You know what? I can't help it. <laughs> I'm going to sparkle up this flower a little bit. It's my inner magpie. I, I, I can't help it. <laughs> okay. Now it's finished. So thanks for watching my videos. Please subscribe to my channel. I try to put out content as pretty frequently as I can. Thanks for watching and have a good day.